up YouTube and welcome to vlogmas day I'll put it right here excuse me so this is going to be a favorites video hi but yeah I have beauty stuff I have fitness stuff I have food I have skincare I have everything let's just hop right in obviously first favorite <gasps> hi world this is nacho say hi Say hi, little grumpy kitty baby. So this is Nacho, as you guys know by now. He's my number one favorite for this month because he's perfect and everything he does is perfect. And I love him. Little kitten. Got him and I love him. And he's my number one favorite and he's probably gonna meow this entire video in the background because he just like gets lost in the house and meows. Come back here. You little punk. Moving on. I have a decent amount of favorites. I don't even know where I'm gonna begin. I got. I guess I'll start with, let's start with skincare. Why not shake it up a little bit? So a lot of you guys have known, maybe you don't know. I, mean, I forget what I talk about and what I don't talk about. But I've had a lot of skin issues this year. In fact, one of my New Year's resolutions last year was to work on my skin a little bit and to like actually start taking care of it and find products that worked for me. So I have spent all year trying to find products that work for me because I my issues is that my skin is really, really dry and I have texture. I don't even know, maybe you can see it on camera, but like right here, just texture. And most people that I like would show that to, like skincare people, <laughs> would say that they thought it was an allergic reaction to something. So I would like cut dairy out for a couple of weeks or like keep gluten low or whatever for a couple of weeks throughout this year just to try and it literally made no difference. And then there would be times where I eat like a ton of gluten, a ton of dairy, and I would, it would be fine. It would, like it wouldn't get worse. So I was like determined to figure out if it was my makeup products that were doing this to me or whatever, but so I have finally found the skincare products that I love. And these were sent to me, but I've never had any kind of like affiliation with them. I've never like, I don't have a discount code. They didn't say like, you should talk about this on social media. They simply saw me on Instagram and saw me talking about skin problems and they were like, hey, you should try our stuff, which is super cool. So I've tried them, I'm obsessed, I'm gonna share them. So the first thing I have is, uh, it's a brand called Osei. I'm not sure how that you say that, but it's Ocean Cleansing Milk and it's for sensitive, dry, rosacea, and mature skin. So it's a face cleanser. What I like about this, it's so like, literally is like kind of milky, which just, when your skin is easily irritated and easily sensitive, which I don't think I mentioned my skin is super sensitive, anything like milky for some reason just seems to really soothe it. I've bought face washes for sensitive skin before and they just never like it never helped my skin would always stay red or sensitive or whatever and yes I've tried rodent and fields every single person on the internet has tried to send me rodent and fields I've tried it it does not work for me anyway but this stuff really really works after like using this one time my skin was already smoother softer and like less red and just using this over time I feel like it's probably the main thing that's helped take the texture issues away from my skin and help with the redness and like the flaring up and stuff like that it just feels really like hydrating and not abrasive or dry so I love this and what they suggested with it is this advanced protection cream now this was pricey if I remember like a hundred dollars I don't know what I'm gonna do when I run out of it it's very very generously sized I've been using this for like four months and I still like there is still a ton left. So I would say it would last you at least six to eight months. But it's a super thick cream. Like we're talking so thick, you put it on your face and you can feel the thick cream on your face. So you don't wanna like wear this like when you're going out of the house, this is like a night cream. But I will put this on at night and the next day I'm like a new person. My skin is like smooth and not irritated and has like amazing texture. So God bless these two products here for finally getting it done. I thought it was a lost cause, I'm not. All right, last skin product that I have is one that I actually just recently found. It's the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. And I actually got this in like a sample kit from Sephora. So that stuff has really helped with the irritation and like the sensitivity, the redness, the texture. Those two face products have helped with that. But my skin is still a little bit dry. It, like I would put like lotions and stuff on my face and just especially in the winter months my skin is just extra extra dry so i got this this little mask here and it's actually it's like an overnight mask you put it on you leave it on overnight and i swear my skin was finally like dewy almost when i woke up the next day after having used this stuff and when i rinsed off my face perfect skin like smooth moisturized like i always get dry right 
around here, especially in the winter time. But this stuff, super amazing. I'm definitely gonna get the full size. I think the full size is like $22, but you only use it a couple times a week. This alone is gonna last me a little bit. So super love that. I guess this might count as a skincare product, but the Fake Bake Flawless Tanner? Is that flawless darker? Okay, so shout out to all my peeps on Twitter who told me about this stuff. I've been looking for a good fake tanner for a while because like as winter has been coming, my like summer tan has been fading and I hate, I hate being white, you guys. And so I've been looking for a good self tanner. The only one I've ever really used before is like the Jergens moisturizer. Like you, it's like a gradual tanner. And I like that stuff okay, but like it, it seemed to come off of my clothes a lot and was definitely like orangey if I did like a couple layers, at least on me. So I was looking for a like relatively inexpensive self tanner that actually looked bronzy. This is it. I got this on Amazon.com for like $13 and it comes with a, like one of those mitts. Do I have it? And you just, oh you just can spray the product on your skin or you can spray it on the mitt and then you just rub it into your skin. You take a shower, you like exfoliate and stuff, and then you dry off and you apply the self tanner. You leave it on for like six to eight hours, so generally you should leave it on like overnight and then rinse it off the next morning. And it like looked so bronzy and beautiful. It just looked like I was tan without being fake tan. It was amazing. It maybe lasts for about three or four days on me because I don't reapply it and I'm like terrible at moisturizing my body. But when it wears off, in my opinion, it doesn't come off patchy. Like I never looked down and was like, oh my God, my tanner is coming off and I look crazy or diseased. I love that stuff though and yeah. Next we have glasses. So I've talked about Fermu before a million times. I love glasses from Fermu. So Fermu.com is a online glasses retailer and they do prescription lenses. Super nice quality. These are probably dirty, but if you can see them, super cute. I have probably 10 pair of glasses from Fermu between like the glasses that they've sent me for free and the ones that I bought on my own. Like these are a pair of prescription sunglasses from them that I bought on my own. But I think I think all of their glasses for the most part are like 20 to 25 dollars or less And that's with a prescription could be like 30 or 35 for some of them, but they're cheap I don't know how they do it and they're good quality But I have a code for you guys to get a pair of glasses for free and I'll put it I don't know I'll put it somewhere if you go to firmu.com and you use this code I think you get a pair of free glasses with lenses. You just have to pay for shipping So like I said, I love these glasses I'll leave my frames the frames that I'm wearing here um, in the description box super cute They're like a tortoise shell with like a pink uh, Inner what am I saying? Y'all know what I'm saying love firmu. I love them so much. All right, two beauty products. The first one is Ardell Wispies Lashes. Now, I don't even know if I would say this is like a favorite of late, but this is these are the lashes that I wear on a daily basis. I get asked all the time, Lynette, what false lashes are you wearing in all of your pictures in your day-to-day -day life? This is it, Ardell Wispies. You can get them in like a five pack or a four pack or something like that, and they're like, I think it's like 10 bucks or 12 bucks or something. But these are super natural looking when you have them on the band where the lashes like start is uh, very flexible so it like conforms to your little little bit better and isn't super uncomfortable. They're really good just like beginner lashes that really look good on everybody and they look super natural. So for a third time, Ardell Wispy's lashes, go get them. My last beauty favorite, Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, we just, Look at those beautiful shades. The colors in this palette kind of remind me of the new Kylie Jenner. Is that who it is? I'm so old, you guys. I don't know who the, the Jenners are or the Kardashians. I don't know those people. Okay, but one of them put out a palette with very similar colors to this because the burgundy red type colors with like oranges, it's super in for fall and winter. It's like a thing now. All those colors that they used to tell us look bruisey are now a thing. Who would have thought? I've done a tutorial with this palette, I think at least once, but I love this orange. It looks scary, but do you see it comes out? It doesn't look super duper orange on your finger. And I love this scary looking red. Again, looks less intimidating on your skin than it does in the palette, but I love this palette. It's super blendable. All of the shadows are good. Like there's not any duds in this palette and there's a million colors. Even if those like the super intimidating colors intimidate you, if you just like take out 
that and you're just left with this it's a super amazing neutrals palette i forget how much this costs but in terms of like a high-end palette like you, you really get what you pay for especially with this i honestly can't recommend this enough if you don't have this palette just go get it all right my one fitness favorite <laughs> of this whole haul it's these new Nikes that you guys have seen in all of my photos. I got these from Footlocker.com after first seeing Amanda Latona wearing them. And then I saw Nikki Blackadder wearing them. And then I saw Elle Sheplo wearing them from LB Fit Body. And then I saw one of her clients wearing it. So basically, I decided that I needed these. And it was a really good choice on my part. So they don't have laces, they're slip-on. I originally ordered a size eight, which is normally my size, but they were really tight here because there's just like not a lot of give. So then I returned them and got a half size up, an eight and a half, and they fit perfectly. They're super comfortable, super duper comfortable. Um, I would not do like heavy hip thrusts or like some heavy movements that require you like kind of like gripping the floor with your feet. I guess you could just take these off if you were gonna like squat really heavy or whatever, because your feet will slide around on them a little bit for some reason they're just really soft and like slidey on the inside but for like cardio or like just normal lifting like upper body I love these they just look really really cute I get stopped at the gym all the time for these shoes by men and women wanting to know where I got them but yeah I love them why did I save food for last I should have started with food that's why we're all here right okay I have two pastas I'm gonna talk about them both so when I first started dieting like I don't know, at birth, I thought, oh, I'm never gonna have pasta again because one teeny tiny serving is like 50 grams of carbs, which is dumb because I can always have like three servings of pasta before I'm full. Ain't nobody got time for 150 grams of carbs in one sitting of pasta, but I have found some amazing things. This is ISO pasta. I have Snapchatted about this. I have Instagrammed about this. I'm not sure. I have vlogged about this, but this is super duper expensive pasta that is super high in protein and super low in carbs. One serving of this, which is like a 50 gram serving, which is like a normal serving of pasta pretty much, is 170 calories, 1.5 grams of fat, 11 grams of carbs, four grams of fiber, and 30 grams of protein. What on earth? Like this is literally like a chicken breast. It's shaped like fuseli. Fuseli? I don't know. You see this little boil for 30 minutes. That should be your first sign of how this is actually kind of tastes. So I do, I'm not picky about pasta. Like when I discovered that this kind of stuff existed in the world and that I could be a pasta eater again, I have very low standards for what this is actually gonna taste like. So the fact that even after boiling it for it for 30 minutes, it still kind of tastes like a little bit grainy and definitely not like soft noodle texture. I still am not mad about it because I just cover it in like butter and cheese and it's super delicious. And two servings of this is like 60 grams of protein in one sitting, which I don't ever usually have that much of this because it is really, really filling surprisingly. It does retail. I usually get it on Groupon and it's like, literally almost eight dollars a bag so i'll buy four bags and i will make it i will force myself to make it last for like two months because ain't nobody got eight dollars to spend on one bag of pasta for those of us who don't want to spend eight dollars on a bag of pasta we can spend 4.99 i just found this like last week at my local kroger so if you don't have a kroger i don't know what to tell you because i tried to find this online and i can't not find it so you might be screwed but it's by a brand called true roots it's organic it's gluten-free it's non-gmo verified it's organic did i say that and what it is it's just red lentils literally on the ingredient list organic red lentil flour that's it and one serving is 180 calories one gram of fat 27 grams of carbs, only three grams of fiber, and 13 grams of protein. And what's nice about this is it actually tastes really good. I've been making it and I will boil it like normal pasta, not for 30 minutes. And I add, I've recently started adding salt to my water as I'm boiling pasta and it makes the pasta itself taste like a little bit more flavorful. And I think I just like the taste of lentils because I can tell that this tastes a little bit like red lentils, but it has the same consistency as pasta, so it's got that soft pasta feel. It just tastes a little bit like red lentils, but it's so good. And I love that it's just one ingredient. Like that other stuff, the iso pasta, it's like got guar gum, soy something or other, pea protein, I don't know. Like I just feel kind of weird about it having so many ingredients that, uh, I don't know. This is like just eating a giant bowl of boiled vegetables, you know? I could feel good about that. I love this stuff. If you can find it at your store near you, just grab every box on the shelf like I did. I get asked all the time, what is my favorite protein? And here's the thing, protein powders all are like kind of disgusting. They all taste like protein, a lot of them make your stomach hurt because of like the dairy part of it, the whey, protein, whatever. This is the only protein 
that actually tastes okay to me that I can just mix with water and like tastes good and I can just drink it and it doesn't make my stomach hurt. PE Science makes my stomach hurt. Quest Protein makes my stomach hurt. Pretty much every other protein I've tried, Cellucor makes my stomach hurt. I don't know what it is. This does not make my stomach hurt. Is GNC's Waybolic Extreme Original. It's like your normal protein powder in terms of calories. It's 90 calories for one scoop. Uh, zero fat, two grams of carbs, 20 grams of protein. It has like an amino profile, it has a bunch of amino acids, L-carnitine, stuff like that. So it's like kind of helpful as like a fat loss supplement in general or really just like a fat controlling supplement. This is in the, is this salted caramel? Salted caramel flavor. This is a little bit sweet for me. It's like a little bit too sweet in terms of flavor, but I always go by the chocolate flavor and it's so good. It's so good. I think a tub of this, which has like 51 scoops in it, this is, I wanna say it's like $40. Usually have like a buy one get one half off sale though. So yep, uh, this is the first protein I actually ever tried in my existence as a fit person. And I don't know why I tried anything else when this clearly worked for me. So now I'm back to just using this and I will never use anything again, except for PE Science when I make protein carb waffle things. Except I don't even make those anymore because ew. Last thing, last thing, coffee. I have never tried this before until this year. Maybe it didn't exist until this year. I don't know, but it's Starbucks Peppermint Mocha Coffee. Now, maybe one of you guys are gonna break my heart and tell me that there's actually like a ton of sugar in here or something. The ingredients is just ground coffee and natural flavors, so let's hope not, but this is so good, I could literally drink it black. And I hate black coffee. Who likes black coffee? Why would you torture yourself like that? But this is so good, it's chocolate and peppermint is my favorite flavor of all the flavors on the earth. And this is just so, rich it's so rich it's it literally tastes like you're drinking a, a peppermint mocha um and i add of course like cream and sugar-free creamers and the splenda and all that stuff because i'm bougie when it comes to my coffee the one thing i'll say about this and maybe this was my fault because maybe i just like made my coffee too strong but this is really caffeinated like i had like two and a half cups of it and i was bouncing off the walls had that like over caffeinated feeling of where you feel like you're hurtling through space and time yeah that wasn't really fun Totally worth it. I just dialed back on how much uh, coffee grounds I was using in my coffee maker. You should get this. I, um, again, kind of like bought out my local Kroger because I have like a, an abandonment complex where I'm afraid all the good foods are just gonna be gone. I'm never gonna be able to get them again. It's like I've never heard of the internet or something. Okay, that is it for this gigantic vlog. I'm sorry if this guy meowed throughout the entire video, but he is a baby and he doesn't know anything yet. You will learn the ways of YouTube. You will learn how to be quiet when I'm filming, right? Maybe. You could just do whatever you want because you're cute. <laughs> Bye guys. Look at the camera. Bye bang.